When most people think of Georgia, the coast isn't usually on their mind. However, this state actually has seven prominent coastal cities where some of them have a beach and others are also huge tourist attractions as well. Let's begin. The first coastal city, Tybee Island. This coastal town is a barrier island located off the coast of Georgia, about 18 miles east of Savannah. It is the easternmost point in Georgia and it is known for the sandy beaches with various access points, the iconic lighthouse, and its quaint beach town atmosphere. It is a popular destination for beachgoers, outdoor enthusiasts, and nature lovers alike. Visitors enjoy kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, swimming, boating, fishing, bird watching, bike renting, and exploring the Fort Pulaski National Monument. Popular attractions also include the Tybee Island Marine Science Center and the Tybee Island Museum. Next, in one of Georgia's most well-known cities, Savannah, Georgia. This beautiful coastal town has a rich history. It is known for its cobblestone streets, moss-draped trees, and stately antebellum architecture. It is considered one of the most romantic cities in the United States and is home to many festivals and events throughout the year. Along with that, it's also known for its unique mix of old and new, with a well-preserved historic district, electric shops, restaurants, and vibrant art galleries. Savannah is also known for its hospitality, with a wide range of accommodations and outdoor activities to choose from. And not to forget, the bench scene in the movie Forrest Gump was also filmed here. But unfortunately for this city, the closest beach access is about 18 miles away at Tybee Island. And the third coastal city is Jekyll Island, which is a barrier island off of the coast. It is one of the Golden Isles of Georgia along with St. Simons Island, Sea Island, and Little St. Simons Island. It is named after Sir Joseph Jekyll, a British member of parliament who was part owner of the island in the late 1700s. Jekyll Island is a popular tourist destination and is home to numerous historic sites and resorts. The island is also the site of Jekyll Island Club, an exclusive club for some of the wealthiest and most influential families of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It also has various beaches, including the Glory Boardwalk, St. Andrew's Beach, and the famous Driftwood Beach, which you absolutely must visit if you're here. Fourth is Brunswick, which is a coastal city in Glynn County. It is the second largest coastal city in the state behind Savannah, with a population of 16,380 people as of the 2010 census. And along with Savannah, it is also a port city with a very large square. Brunswick is also home to the College of Coastal Georgia, a four-year public college located on the historic campus. However, the closest beach access point is seven miles away from the neighboring island, St. Simons, which leads to our next coastal city, St. Simons. Like Tybee Island, this town is also part of the Golden Isles, located off the coast of Georgia. It is known for its beautiful beaches, lush maritime forests, and rich history. The island also has a vibrant shopping and dining scene, as well as a number of historical attractions. The two primary beaches on this island are Messingale Beach and the primary public beach. Next up is Darien. This small town has a distinct southern charm. It is located near the Darien River with boat ramps providing access to over 100 miles of Atlantic intracoastal waterway. Yet, it's not a very busy area, so it's more of a hidden gem, especially if you have a boat. The city has a historic downtown area with several shops and restaurants. And last but not least is the southernmost coastal Georgia city, St. Mary's. Just north of the Florida state line, it is part of the Jacksonville, Florida metropolitan area. 
The city is known for the gateway to Cumberland Island due to its proximity to the Cumberland Island National Seashore. You can also take a ferry to that island as well. The St. Mary's Historic District, which encompasses the downtown area, is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The city is also home to Naval Submarine Base Kings Bay, which is one of the largest submarine bases in the entire world. It was established in 1978 and one of the largest employers in the area. Along with that, St. Mary's is also known for its quaint downtown area, which features a number of historic buildings and old-fashioned stores. The city is also home to a number of festival events throughout the year, including the annual Kingfish Tournament and the annual Shrimp and Grits Festival. But unfortunately, the only beach access point is to take the ferry to Cumberland Island, where you'll find beaches there. And there you have it, the seven prominent coastal cities of Georgia. I hope this video helped in any way, and subscribe if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day.